Welcome back, Minecrafters. In this week's episode, we've got a lot to catch up on. And later on, Mad Safai is going to join us. And we're going to do a little collaboration and build us an iron farm. But a bit of a spoiler, Mad Safai has something special for sale that's going to make life a whole lot easier on the ScoutCraft server. And I actually suffer my first deaths in the world. Let's get on with it. So since the last episode, I've been grinding out a few hours of building up some XP by mining for minerals and, you know, feeding the cows and the chickens and even picked up a couple of these beauties. Chicken head was just the bonus. What I really needed was some XP to do some enchanting. And first I wanted to enchant the diamond pick and was really hoping to get unbreaking and efficiency. And maybe if I was lucky, fortune or silk touch, but uh, wasn't that lucky and I only got efficiency four. I had a little better luck with my bow and got power four and unbreaking three though. So I was pretty happy about that. And since we didn't get a fortune enchantment on our pick, which we so desperately need when we're hunting for diamonds, decided to head over to the shopping district and uh, see what they had available in the bookstore. Vloop's bookstore. I think that um, Odd Man has taken over this. So shop owner, a.k.a. Mr. Extortion, report to police headquarters immediately regarding extortion and rat infestation. And most of all, dodgy feather falling books. Paul Blart. Is that Paul Blart, the mall cop? Um, oh, look. I guess this is what he means by rat infestation, huh? All right, so what do we got here? Protection for three diamonds. Evidence, sample number three of infestation of rats looting three diamonds silk touch one diamond feather falling four four diamonds evidence da, 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 da. so somebody wasn't happy oh infinity for two diamonds is that all we've got or is there more mending five diamonds evidence sample of overpriced mending books that is pretty steep unbreaking three Efficiency four, two, anvil that's free to use. All right, so we've got to put unbreaking on both of those. All right, so let's think about this here. It's going to be one, two, three, one, two, three, right? Mending five diamonds for mending. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. So that would put unbreaking and mending on both of the picks. They're both already efficiency. Now there was silk touch down here. Protection, looting, silk touch would be one diamond. And infinity would be two diamonds. That would leave me with 11 diamonds. So let's go ahead and do it. So two diamonds. That's the infinity book. Mending. Yeah, we'll buy these before they're gone. Unbreaking. And then... Are we going to get Silk Touch? Is that what we were going to get? Silk Touch. Other than that, I don't think we need anything else. I'm not doing any armor at this point, although looting for the sword would be nice. Let's not worry about any of that for the moment. Get out of here before this rat infestation takes over. All right, well, we made it back to the base after our little trip to the bookstore, and we did some more enchanting and got the books applied to our picks, but we still don't have a fortune pick, and I've used up all of my XP so far, so we're basically starting back from zero, 
And so I decided, you know, back to mining and feeding the chickens and the livestock until we can get some more levels to see if we can finagle the enchanting table to give up a fortune enchantment for the pick so that we can uh, maximize our diamond mining. So that's what we kept working on. Also, while we were trying to build up some XP, Madsify surprised us while he was making a trip over to the jungle to collect some leaves and logs to build palm trees out at his island base. And he dropped off some Eye of Ender so that uh, I could make a couple of Ender chests, which is actually a godsend. And thank you, Madsify, for doing it. Really very much appreciated. All right, here it is. Been working towards this had to enchant and disenchant and go get some more levels and finally we got it to where it's going to give us fortune three so this is going to be perfect let's hope we get some unbreaking and maybe some efficiency with it well we got efficiency well i could combine those two right there i could get efficiency five fortune three and unbreaking and mending that would be quite the pick so i think that's what we're gonna do is we're gonna head over here to the anvil and hopefully so that's 18 let's try swapping it that's 20. all right so efficiency five fortune three mending unbreaking three let's do it that'll pretty much wipe us out but We've now got a fortune three pick. Woohoo. And we've got 50 diamond ore right here. So let's go find out how many diamonds that that 50 diamond ore will give us. All right, so we've got 50 diamond ore here and we just got our fortune three pick so i'm gonna break all this ore down and let's see how many diamonds we get but before i do that why don't you guys just type your guess down in the comments below and let's see who can get the closest Is that it all right here we go Oh, efficiency five is so nice. Just goes and goes and goes and goes. Get some of our XP back here too. We got a stack in three quarters. So 112 out of uh, diamonds out of 50 diamond ore. So just a little bit more than double. Not bad, my friends. Not bad at all. I mentioned earlier that we're going to be doing something with Manzify, and I just got a message from him, and he's got something ready for me to pick up at his base. So let's go over there, and while we're rowing our way across the ocean, let's tackle our question of the day. And if you're not familiar with uh, question of the day here's how it works leave a question or even just a comment on this video and i'll pick one to feature in the next episode so to get things started in my scout craft series i've got the question that was asked by Oathson in the last episode of my let's play series which i'll just throw a link up in the corner up there if you want to have a look at it and um his question is is how long have you been playing minecraft and what aspect of the game do you enjoy most also, what would you change if you could choose something? Greetings from a fan. Well, thanks, Othson, for the question. I really appreciate the comment. And um, I've been playing Minecraft for about a year and a half. Um, I first started, uh, I only played hardcore while streaming on Twitch. So it was just kind of something I was doing while I was streaming. And I like hardcore, but I found myself wanting to learn how to, you know, build a lot better, which is kind of hard to do in hardcore because when you die, you just lose it all, right? So I started a survival world and started making YouTube videos, which you can check out on the channel if you want. Um, anyways, uh, that's probably what I like most about is learning um, how to build better and just building in general. And I've also started to get into a little redstone. As for things I would change, if I could, I would probably change the inventory management system in the game. Not sure exactly how, but uh, would like it to be easier to look through chests and shulker boxes without having to open each one. So I heard there's a data pack that does this and I've been meaning to look into it, but 
just haven't so far. And if you've got a suggestion, let me know down in the comments because I'll definitely check it out. So, all right, if you haven't figured it out by now, we need villagers for the project Madsify and I are going to be working on. And if you haven't guessed already, we're going to be building an iron farm and Madsify is going to be stopping by here probably any minute. So I'm going to finish getting ready for him and I'll be right back. Full bump, how are you doing? I'm um, good, Madsify. How are Mr. you? Bumpy. Welcome I'm to the good, base. Thank you. Yeah, you looks like you've got the... Uh... We need to have the Animal Rights Commission coming in here at the moment. <laughs> what is going on here? Look at uh, all the... It's chaos, look at isn't all the, it? It's congested, yes, to it say is. the least. Yeah, yeah. Look at well, the chickens. There's like 100 in there. Yeah, this is my early game XP farm, man. You just feed the chickens yeah. and the cows and stuff, and, and that's how I've been getting yeah. my XP for enchantments. Yeah, nice. And oh, I've noticed that you are... Uh, oh, yep. I've noticed that you don't have an elytra. I don't. Yeah, I haven't been yeah, to the end so, yet. So, yeah. So, are you interested in buying one today? I am definitely interested in buying I come one. Here, I come here as the sales rep because we don't have a shop currently in the shopping district, but we do have plenty of elytras in our ender chest. Me and Liga are teaming up for that shop in a future episode. But I thought since, uh, since you're here, we could probably work out a deal. Absolutely. Absolutely. So yeah. I was the elytra would make my life uh, easier. Yeah, it sure would. Um, so I was thinking amending unbreaking three with two stacks of rockets for 16 diamonds. 16 diamonds. Um, all right. Yeah, I think that's pretty fair, yeah. actually. Yeah, pretty yeah. fair. I think all that's right. Have you got... uh, about what I've got ooh, here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, ooh, I'll, ooh, I'll, ooh. I've got 16 here. Eight of them will go to Liga, unfortunately. Okay, how do we want to do this? I'll give you yours. There's the Elytra and two stacks of rockets. Oh, sky's the limit. And there is the 16 diamonds. Did you get all 16? Ooh, great. Yep, sure did. You didn't rip me off. No, um, I wouldn't, as you can see in this, I wouldn't uh, do that. This chest right here, I am not short of diamonds at the least. Um, oh, you're doing very well. Nice. <laughs> yep. So uh, we'll put that back in there. And we've still got about... Six a lot, uh, yeah, six elytras to sell, and I think League has got another six as well. But oh, I haven't had I want to, I want so to uh, yeah, I want to welcome you to the Scout Craft server with a little gift. And I know you want to do things kind of uh, as much um, as you can by the books, I guess, as in uh, starting from scratch, no, no help. So, oh, he's gone. <laughs> Sorry, had to test it out. I couldn't get it to work there for a yeah, second. Exactly I'm a bit right. rusty. <laughs> At least I don't die but, on the landing. Yeah, but I thought I could give you this gift, the shelter box and what's inside. Oh, my God, a beacon. As a gift, as a gift from me, as I own the beacon shop, I thought we could give you a complimentary beacon. Oh, my God, you um, don't know how much that helps. Thank you. Yeah, no worries at all. And welcome to the Scout Craft server. Um, it's great to have you on board. Puffster will probably have the similar, a similar uh, gift as well when I meet up with him next episode, potentially. All right, well, um, I'll keep it quiet. Yeah, yeah, keep it quiet. Yeah, shh. shh. <laughs> but There's no spoilers. Today we're going to be, uh, as you can see in the background, looks like we're going to be building an iron farm. Yeah. and We've just been transporting some villages over here. Yeah, and I've got a third one here in this little dirt box that oh, i just yeah. wanted yep. to protect That's him a in nice little house for him and we got these two adults <laughs> so we could put these three i'm assuming we're just built you need three for the villa the iron farm and then yeah. i'll keep these yep. two for later to to make a villager breeder we pretty much had everything ready or so we thought and uh turns out we had to make several adjustments to the zombie in the end and if you look close you'll see me die not once but uh actually twice so have a look at the rest of the build in this time lapse
iron farm's up and running and I've done just a little AFKing and it's working really well. I'll put a link to Madsify's tutorial below in the description. If you're looking to build just a simple iron farm, I really recommend checking this one out. It's simple, but you know, really effective. And before I forget, remember to leave your question of the day comment below. Until next episode, craft on my dudes.